The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the Raw Women's Championship. Big fight feel here in Vancouver, Canada as another championship is set to be defended. And is Liv Morgan going to be the one to finally take down the Empress of Tomorrow? Liv became the number one contender in an eight woman over the top rope battle royal a number of weeks ago on Raw, last eliminating Becky Lynch. And then seven days later, pinning Becky Lynch's shoulders to the canvas one, two, three in the middle of that very ring. Liv has certainly got momentum behind her tonight. But whether momentum has been on the side of the challengers or how a whole army has been against Asuka, she has turned away any and all challengers throughout her championship reigns, has been the champion for the better part of the last 12 months here in WWE. Liv has challenged for the gold before during the reigns of Asuka, but never one-on-one. -on -one. The biggest opportunity of her career. And in a matter of seconds, the mood has just changed inside the Rogers Arena. Liv has got heart, she's got guts, she's the deserving challenger, but I don't know if anything is gonna be enough to keep down this woman. The most feared woman in WWE history, the most dominant woman in the history of WWE. And she is the one with the gold, your women's champion of the world. It was one year ago at this time that Asuka was taking down the Money in the Bank briefcase that propelled her into a championship reign that expired back in November at Survivor Series, and Asuka made quick work of that, invoking a rematch clause just over a month later and winning back the championship gold on January the 1st at the Royal Rumble. Over the last 12 months, Asuka has turned down any and all challengers. Becky Lynch at WrestleMania, Shotzi at the Royal Rumble, Tegan Knox at Elimination Chamber. Four different challengers last month at Backlash, Liv Morgan being one of them. And as we mentioned, even though Liv has challenged for the gold before, this is the first time she's getting Asuka one-on-one -on -one with the championship on the line. Is this the opportunity that Liv has been waiting for, or is the Empress of Tomorrow simply about to add another victim to her long list of turned-away challengers? Big fight feel for the Women's Championship of the World here tonight at Vengeance. Introducing the challenger from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan! And her opponent from Osaka, Japan, she is the Raw Women's Champion, Asuka! One thing we have to say about the Empress of Tomorrow, is lover, liker, hater. You have to respect Asuka and the body of work she has produced, not just in her entire WWE career, not just down at NXT years ago, but just simply over the last 12 months here in WWE. Asuka, as we already mentioned, the most dominant women in WWE history. But is Liv Morgan going to be her kryptonite? We find out right here, right now, as the bell has sounded and the matchup is underway. And Asuka immediately coming out swinging. Kicks and an elbow to Liv Morgan, and the challenger is already finding herself in a precarious situation against the champion. Asuka has systematically picked apart her opponents. Turned away any and all challengers. Walked into the grandest stage of them all back in February. Turned down a returning Becky Lynch, who ever since she made her return just a few weeks prior, had absolutely been on a dominating streak of victories on Monday Night Raw. Asuka does not give a damn who you are, where you've been, or how you earned your gold. Or I should say, chance at the gold. Asuka sits atop the throne, and there's a good reason for it. Liv going for the cover early. Actually got a two count on Asuka, but the Empress of Tomorrow goes without saying, but she is going to be a tough challenger to beat inside of that ring. It's not impossible. We've seen Asuka fall before. The thing is, this is the most dangerous Asuka has ever been in her WWE career. She seemingly just gets better week after week, month after month, match after match. And it only makes it more difficult for opposing challengers. Liv looking good so far, taking the fight to Asuka. Going for another 
cover and gets the near fall. There's one thing we know about these women's championship matches when the Empress of Tomorrow is involved. It's one thing to take the fight to the champion. It's a whole nother thing to actually have a chance at defeating her. And as great as Liv Morgan, oh look at this, what a maneuver off the apron! Hurricane Rana by Liv, and the Challengers picking up some steam in the early going. And Liv is on the attack, trying to send Asuka to the barricade. They aren't going to have the upper hand against the Empress of Tomorrow for that long. As we were about to mention before, Liv came flying off the apron, as great as she has been over the last couple of weeks, over the last month or so, picking up victories on Monday Night Raw, of course the Battle Royal! And she wanted very similar to how she just sent Asuka out of the ring over the top rope as much momentum as Liv has been picking up on Raw. I don't know how much momentum can really do you any good when Asuka's standing on the other side of the ring. Now Asuka, look at this, going for a submission hold here. Not the Asuka lock that she has tapped out so many opponents with, but definitely has got Liv Morgan all kinds of tangled up. And the thing about Asuka is, she even knows that this maneuver has Liv able to counter out. Asuka's smart. She knows Liv might not tap out in the early going, but as we mentioned, Asuka will systematically pick you apart inside of that ring until you have no choice but to give up from bell to bell. Nice bulldog by the challenger. It's one thing we can say about everybody who's tried to step up for Asuka. It's not that they haven't given it the old hardy chance inside of that ring, but Asuka is just on a different level than everybody. Liv crashes and burns. Asuka to retain the gold, and Liv kicks out again. If Liv Morgan can somehow pull this victory off, and that is a very big hypothetical situation. It is certainly not going to be without earning it all the way through. See how Asuka has really slowed down the pace just in the few first moments of this matchup. Liv was really starting to pick things up. That Hurricane Rana off the apron immediately tried to keep the offense going on Asuka. But Asuka is going to wrestle her style of match. She's going to beat you down. She's going to pick you apart. And when Asuka says when is when the match will end. And you hear the crowd in Vancouver, not the biggest fan of the Empress of Tomorrow. As we mentioned, though, you can like her, you can love her, you can absolutely hate her guts. But I guess that's what they say about greatness. Everybody hates greatness. But you damn sure better respect what Asuka has done. Liv tried to sneak a pinfall there. Asuka was having none of it. Asuka go for the hip attack, it looked like, but a counter by Liv Morgan. Can't say Liv hasn't done her homework. And off the ropes in the face breaker on Asuka. Will Liv do it? Into the cover here, but Asuka gets the shoulder up. Well, good opportunity by Liv Morgan. She clearly has done her homework, avoided the hip attack, and hit that face breaker. But unfortunately for her, Asuka is going to be a hard puzzle to figure out tonight. You see that momentum does not last long for the challenger. Asuka's right back on the offense. It's almost as if she just absorbs that face breaker, shakes it off, and keeps swinging until she hears the bell sound. Liv Morgan just getting picked apart by Asuka just in a matter of a second there. She's trying to fight back, but the Empress is having none of it. Fire woman's position there, and Liv getting hung up on the top rope. And as we mentioned earlier, Liv Morgan has challenged for the Women's Championship. It was last year, since September, at Judgment Day, when Liv Morgan and Alexa Bliss faced off against Asuka in a triple threat matchup. The Empress retained on that night. And of course, last month at Minneapolis at Backlash, Liv Morgan was one of four challengers in that five-woman elimination match. Made it down to the final three, but ultimately Asuka retained the gold at Backlash. As we mentioned, Liv has competed for the gold, but ultimately Asuka has won on the other side of things. But this is Liv's first chance one-on-one -on -one tonight. She has a chance in hell. There's always a shot in the dark for the challenger to take down Asuka, but... Right now, it looks like Asuka's just almost having fun with the challenger. Sent her to the outside, made her fall down on the floor a couple of times, sends her back in the ring, and see, Asuka's not in a rush to go after Liv. Oh, man, but spikes her with the DDT, does the challenger. We're really giving Asuka a lot of credit in this matchup, but we got to give credit to the challenger right here, because Liv... Oh, look at this, taking a page out of Alexa Bliss's book, a woman she has tag teamed with on numerous occasions over the last year. If Asuka does not take Liv Morgan seriously tonight, there's very much a chance that Liv can pull off the surprise victory 
Oh no, oh no, wait a minute. Asuka, Asuka lock locked in. Basically out of nowhere, out of thin air, the submission hold got Liv Morgan all kinds of tied up. Nobody survives the Asuka lock and Liv Morgan is struggling to hold on here. Credit where it's due she is. Oh, look at this. Liv able to break the hold. Liv breaks the hold and delivers a stiff elbow shot to Asuka and the challenger is still fighting from underneath. Liv Morgan knows that championship opportunities are few and far between and she is not looking to leave the Rogers Arena here in Vancouver empty handed tonight. Asuka, Asuka lock gets broken by the challenger and Liv Morgan right back on the offense here and the challenger is picking up steam yet again. She's got to stay focused here. As we mentioned, if Asuka takes Liv not seriously tonight, well, she could be leaving herself empty handed and Liv Morgan could take advantage off the middle rope and there's a splash by the challenger. Liv Morgan's got a chance in hell right now. She was able to break the Asuka lock, but can she ultimately get the job done? First from the second rope, then from the top rope, and now Liv into the cover. Will that do it enough to keep down the champion? No. Got to think Asuka might have been thrown off her game right there with Liv Morgan breaking the submission hole. That stiff elbow shot to the nose of the Empress of Tomorrow. And Asuka... At the same time, he's just trying to get back into this matchup, maybe try to rearrange her blueprint in her head on how to defeat the challenger as Liv just sends her for a ride to the outside of the ring. And now it's Liv Morgan on the top rope, the champion on the ringside here. And Liv goes for the crossbody, but look at the strength by Asuka to catch her and slam her down at ringside. And just like that, in the snap of the fingers, the dangerous dominating, intimidating champion is back in control. Liv Morgan must have thought she had her right there. Went for the cross body to Asuka to try to inflict some punishment on the outskirts of the ring and it only cost her. There's a reason they call it high risk, high reward and it's because of situations like that. And Asuka now after a little bit of a pumbling on the outside, sends her challenger Back inside the squared circle, and Liv Morgan is not looking good right now. Asuka may be near in victory. Kick to the gut, and I think we know what's coming. This time, she hits the hip attack. She missed it earlier. Oh, wait a minute. A counter by Liv. Look at Liv Morgan go. Face breaker number two. You gotta be kidding me. She's gonna upset the champion. She is gonna do it. No, Asuka got the shoulder up again. A hell of a sequence of maneuvers right there as Asuka hit the hip attack. Might have been going for the Asuka lock or at least another strike. Liv was able to counter it and ultimately hit her second face breaker off the match off the springboard and turn the ropes. Wasn't enough to keep down the champion, but Liv is keeping the momentum going here. On the top rope, Frankensteiner sends Asuka halfway across the ring. Vancouver, Canada coming unglued. Flatliner by Liv Morgan. And she's not done just yet. A second one. Liv Morgan into the cover. She's got Asuka dead center of the ring. No. How close was that? And a counter by the champion. And that may have been Liv Morgan's best chance to try to defeat the champion tonight. Liv Morgan hit that face breaker, hit the Frankensteiner off the top, double flatliners, and somehow Asuka still continues to press forward. And credit where it's due, Liv Morgan keeping her foot on the gas pedal, not letting Asuka continuing in this matchup hinder her confidence there, but it may be hindering her decision making as she crashed and burned on the outside again. We are still going in this women's championship matchup, and what a match it has been. And dare I say, Asuka's put down some incredible athletes inside that squared circle, but Liv Morgan may be giving her the best run for her money thus far in her championship reign. 
I really thought Liv Morgan had it off those double flatliners. Asuka was dead center of the ring. She was out, but somehow the champion was able, maybe out of adrenaline, maybe out of instinct, but was able to survive nonetheless. And this brawl out ringside getting taken back inside the squared circle. Referee at a count of six. Asuka back in. So is the challenger. Liv Morgan is on her tail. Drop to hold. Now look at Liv Morgan disrespecting the champion. Well, there may be a genius decision or may have just pissed off the champion here who goes down low. Oh, Liv Morgan just running through the champion. But Asuka's right there. Collar and elbow and hangs cha the challenger, excuse me, up on the top rope. Now Asuka with a couple of strikes. Backhand. Asuka just disrespecting the challenger right back at her. And what a spinning kick that we have seen Asuka utilize against her best opponents. That is a knockout blow any day of the week, twice on Vengeance Sunday. Asuka, you see, she's just going to a new gear right now. She is ticked off that Liv Morgan is giving her such a fight. Beating her down, closed fist, boots to the face. The Empress of Tomorrow may have just had enough of Liv Morgan and her women's championship opportunity tonight as she sends her to the outside. You see, the thing about Asuka is she could have easily allowed the referee to start counting out Liv Morgan there. But the Empress of Tomorrow would rather beat down the challenger and simply make a statement and either a pinfall or tap out over Liv Morgan tonight. And that is one of the reasons, again, where you might not like Asuka. Asuka, excuse me, you might hate her, you might love her, but you damn sure better respect what she does inside of that ring. Liv trying to get back into this with a simple yet effective axe hammer off the apron, but how long will it keep the champion down? Sends her into the ring steps here. That is a hard shot. Referee's at a count of six. Liv Morgan smart to break it here. Now Liv is heading back up to the top rope. And I don't know how smart this is as this has failed numerous occasions throughout this match. This time hits the cross body at least enough to take Asuka off her feet. Liv Morgan went high earlier. A crash and burn situation on a few occasions. That time it works out in the challenger's favor, but she's got to get the champion back inside of the ring and get the shoulders counted down for three. And Asuka going to make sure that that does not happen on her watch. And what a match this has been. What a night it has been here at the Rogers Arena in Vancouver, Canada. Every single matchup from bell to bell absolutely tearing the roof off this building. And Asuka and Liv Morgan doing the same right now, all in the means of leaving your WWE Women's Champion. Pinfall by Asuka. Will that do it? Not just yet as Liv Morgan kicks out again. Back and forth we go in this women's championship match as Liv Morgan takes Asuka off her feet. A double stomp, a kick. Will the challenger be leaving a champion? Hard elbow there, ragdolls Asuka. What a whiplash off the canvas. We saw Asuka really kicking things into a new gear, just trying to beat down her challenger a few minutes ago with those closed fists and those kicks to the face. Liv Morgan's gonna get a little extreme herself. All off the ropes, the tilt to world head scissors. Now it's Asuka heading to the outside, on retreat from Liv Morgan. Trying to withstand this onslaught. And this time, the roles are reversed, and it's Liv Morgan snapping Asuka off the top rope and sending her to the outside of the ring. And Asuka's down and out. And obviously a sense of urgency out of Liv Morgan as she comes off the apron there. As Liv has got to get Asuka inside of the ring to become the champion tonight. A count out will not do Liv any good. It certainly will retain Asuka her gold though, and Asuka may just have to resort to that because Liv Morgan will not stay down in this match. And once again, back inside the ring, Liv kips up, but Asuka's right there with that simple tackle, just absolutely having enough of her challenger. This may be the women's match of the year thus far. Wait a minute, Liv Morgan. Trying to steal the win, no. 
And every woman that has been in there with Asuka has gave it, given her a fight! Another flatliner by Liv Morgan out of nowhere! Liv was going for the cover, but Asuka saved by the ropes. And that may have just saved her women's championship, at least for another moment in this contest. And you see Asuka's own momentum sending her over the top rope that time. I think that speaks volumes to the damage that Liv Morgan has done to the Empress of Tomorrow throughout this matchup. Asuka has not seen this kind of punishment dished out from anybody over the last 12 months. Shotzi, Bianca Belair, Liv Morgan at one point, Alexa Bliss, Tegan Knox, Becky Lynch, all women, and not even all of the women that have fallen to Asuka. But Liv Morgan in her first one-on-one -on -one matchup for the championship tonight! Going all out, but unfortunately does not go all in off that landing. Crash and burn if she was going for the Topekin Hilo on the champion, and that may have just handed the momentum of this match on a silver platter back to Asuka, who hits the hip attack for the second time. And that is gonna do it. Asuka, wah! Liv Morgan kicks out again! You have gotta be kidding me right now. That is the second hip attack. No one has usually withstand one, but somehow Liv still fighting and spikes the champion with the DDT dead center of the ring. Your women's championship of the world being defended loud and proud right now here in the Rogers Arena Sunday night, May the 14th, 2023 at Vengeance. Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada getting a treat. Liv and Asuka, no matter who you're supporting in this matchup, are tearing down the house. And win, lose, or draw for the challenger. This has certainly been Asuka's tough, toughest opponent thus far. Liv not looking to come out of this matchup empty-handed after all the effort she has withstood in this match. And Asuka back in with off that trapped arm belly to belly. Now Liv on the apron, and she just gets sent for the fall by the champion. Oh no, and now Asuka, the tides shift in this matchup. Liv is the one who's going high risk, but now the Empress of Tomorrow may be feeling desperate. Cross body by Asuka. Asuka has gotta be racking her brain right now. We're gonna have to check the record books, but this may be the lengthiest women's championship defense in her reign thus far as no one has been able to withstand Asuka to this limit over the last 12 months. And Liv using the announce table, face first, and a flatliner on the outside of the ring. For the fourth time in this matchup, Liv is going to the well with one of her best maneuvers, but she hits it this time on the outside of the ring, and she's gotta get the champion back between the ropes. Certainly some massive damage done on the outside of the ring by Liv Morgan, and there's a counter by Asuka here. Now it's Asuka sending Liv back inside of the ring. Somehow Asuka is still swinging after that onslaught at ringside by the challenger. Snap German by the Empress of Tomorrow. An incredible matchup we are witnessing right now. Just imagine being any of the women back in the locker room thinking you're going to have a chance possibly soon to be coming the number one contender for the women's championship regardless of who wins this matchup you got to be thinking when it's your opportunity when it's next to step up you might have to fight one of these women and Liv Morgan certainly impressing the world tonight showing she is worthy of being in the main event here in the WWE Liv is not done you notice Liv, even after she regained the momentum over Asuka, and even after that flatliner on the outside, not even going for the pinfall yet, she knows she's got to do massive damage to the Empress of Tomorrow. Asuka back to the outside, and Liv has got her scouted. Going for the Topekin hero again, and this time she hits it. Liv Morgan may be on the verge of the biggest upset of 2023 if she can get Asuka back inside that squared circle and keep her shoulders down for the three count. Asuka's dazed, but Liv Morgan not going for the pinfall just yet. I think Liv knows that Asuka has a chance of kicking out. 
And Liv is going to have to throw literally everything she's got, every ounce of energy left in her body, every ounce of energy left in her soul to defeat the women's champion tonight. Another counter by Liv. Here comes the challenger. Drop toe hold and Asuka face first off the canvas. Asuka is in trouble, and that is not something we have said very often, if at all, in her championship reign. The Empress of Tomorrow is shook right now. The challenger's not even going for the pinfall yet. She is just swinging for the fences, looking for the home run, looking for the grand slam, looking to leave Vancouver, Canada, the women's champion of the world. Asuka went for the clothesline, Liv ducked out of it, tilt to whirl, head scissors again, and the champion has got no answer for the challenger. The flat liner on the outside may have done some serious damage. Asuka showed some signs of life, but Liv has flipped the switch in this matchup, and the challenger is coming completely unglued. She's throwing haymakers, throwing lefts, throwing rights, chops, forearms, whipping Asuka off, and Asuka doesn't even have the energy to get back to her feet. Liv Morgan's got her scattered again. Flat liner for a one, two, three, four, fifth time in this match. The three count. Liv Morgan has done it. The reign of the Empress of Tomorrow comes crashing down on Sunday night, May the 14th in Vancouver, Canada at Vengeance. We will be telling the story of how Liv Morgan, the underdog, walked into the biggest matchup of her career and upset the most dominant champion in WWE history here tonight at Vancouver for years and years to come. New women's champion of the world, Liv Morgan is leaving with the gold after an incredible fight. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with the knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.